Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video, we're going to assemble a Sarissa Precisions building for my American War of Independence Princeton project. But you're going to get a chance to see me build this stone chimney number two house. All right, let me get the plastic off, get everything out, and then we'll go from, from there. All right, guys, this Sarissa building is... Uh, looks like it's going to be fairly straightforward to put together. Let's go ahead and take a look at it's two, it's two pages here. And some of the window pieces, it looks like some of the, the inner window pieces have fallen out already. And this side has come off. Okay, and you got like the stonework and the wood. That's nice. Okay, looks like there's a picture frame hanging on the inside of the chimney. That's pretty interesting. Uh, looks like all these pieces are popping out fairly easily. Uh, now these are laser cut MDF. So what does that mean? That means you really should prepare your model uh, for painting before you start painting it. Ma mainly, I mean, you're going to have to prime it maybe once or twice. Uh, do a real light coat of black on the inside. Uh, on the outside, use whatever colors you know you're comfortable with. This isn't a painting tutorial, this is an assembling, assembly tutorial. But uh, I'm going to pop all the pieces out, and they're all coming out fairly, fairly easily. I like to prepare my model before I start assembling it. Ooh, that's the outside of the chimney, and that looks really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Look at the stonework on that. Pretty cool. Okay, now these large boards are just throw away. You can leave the doors on or you can pop them off. Uh, if you're doing some kind of like a skirmish game or a game where you want people inside the house, you would break those off right because you would want to be able to use the door as well as the windows to shoot out and things like that um, i'm using this for my american war of independence which it's not a skirmish game it's not a man-to-man -man game it's actually a unit based game i'm going to leave the door on i'm going to pop out all these little window window pieces there we go make all my windows viewable or seeable okay it looks like all the things that have slots they're all popped out and it looks like looks like it's fairly straightforward let's go ahead and move the pieces out of my way i'm going to be building it on this piece of wax paper the reason why i do that is if i have any glue uh, go from the model to my workbench it won't stick I'll be able to just peel it off of the wax paper. All right. Let's follow the instructions. First thing it says is glue the external chimney stack to the chimney gable end. The external chimney stack to the internal. Okay. They're talking about right there. Okay, let's do it. Now I'm using Aileen's tacky glue, uh, main, mainly because it'll dry quicker and it, it sticks pretty good. And I'm not using a whole bunch actually, just a little bit. And I'm going to use my glue applicator, Mark 1 glue applicator, to kind of smooth it out before I stick that on there. So it's not too thick in any one spot. All right. Line up the top, the chimney itself. The bottom should not go all the way to the bottom of this piece because that's a slot that goes down into a groove. You don't want to make the bottom flush, but you do want to make the top flush. And the bricks should be kind of on line with the other bricks on the bottom. Apply a little bit of pressure. All right, 
that looks good. Glue the internal fireplace to the inside of the chimney gable. Okay, we're just working with this one piece. So this is the fireplace. Hmm. Because I'm assuming it shouldn't line up like that, though. It should be higher. This is the chimney gable. This is the internal fireplace. Okay, my question is, if that's flush, right, and I put that in there, that goes all the way to the ground. We don't want that, I wouldn't think, because when I go to when I go to hook this up, I'm going to want to slide it down inside one of these grooves. Right? I would think so. Okay, I'm just just theorizing right here. And if that is flush like that, this is going to stick up. A tad bit. You want me to do? I'm going to hold off on doing that until I find out exactly how this fits together. I don't trust it. Okay, glue the window and door frames to the relevant window openings. The frames are all on the outside of these guys. Okay, we can do that. I can do that. These are the only windows. That's not true. I have some frames over there. Okay, well, this is a door frame. Goes on top of the door. Okay. Let's do it. Because what these frames will do, it'll make the building look a little bit more three-dimensional. And they won't be so flat. Glue applicator to kind of spread the glue around. Perfecto. Line up all the pieces of the window. I'll be right back once we get all these window sills glued on. All right, now we're going to take the floor and we're going to mount all the walls uh, to the to the floor and to each other. These are the roofs, roofs. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm just going to apply some glue along the outer edge of this where the walls would meet the floor. I'm going to thin it out just a little bit, basically make it even. Perfect. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of glue on the insides of the corner. Right, like the 
bottom of the crenellations here. Come on. There we go. And then also on the inside of the upper crenellations on this side. Okay, perfecto. Okay. So he goes down in that slot. Slides down inside that slot and against the other one. This is the side. in the base. Wipe off any excess glue and pop it apart apparently. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> because the glue hasn't dried yet, I wasn't being very judicious. There we go. And we got one more wall. we put it, line it up with the hole on the base, the floor, and then we kind of work it up, attaching it to the end plates as we kind of slide it in. Okay, so the four walls are together. Looks good so far. Okay, so I'm gonna take the roof piece and I'm gonna put glue where the roof supports go. glue the roof supports in place. Paying attention to put the brick to the inside. There it goes. Boy, that was a tight fit, huh? Okay, and then we'll do the same for the other roof. sure I apply a little bit of pressure there. Alright. 
and then I let that dry because when it's all said and done and this is dry I can just take this roof piece and set it up on top of this I can set it up on top of that building and, it's, and then I can also just take it off if I ever wanted to put anything inside there if I wanted to if I wanted to fiddle around with putting like troops or anything in there but I'm afraid that if I put this fireplace in here right, I'm just gonna oh, whoops I'm just gonna kind of set it in there I'm not gonna actually glue it in place and then I'm gonna put this roof on like I normally would okay it goes on but it's but you can see it doesn't go all the way down either I need to break the bottom of this fireplace off this little bar which I don't want to do or I need to cut a little piece off of this uh, I think breaking a piece off the fireplace would be the best way to go the bottom of the fireplace yeah so I think this was miscut I'm gonna do it. bit of experimenting cut the bottom off so it'll sit like a millimeter lower and if you're not if you're not ever taking the roof off you'll never see that piece on the inside I think it's gonna work actually so that's what we're gonna do well what if I put this on without it does it fit smooth no there's still a little gap Close the gap. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and put that thing on the inside. Okay. Let's put it right in the middle. Got it in there right there I can even paint that picture frame or whatever probably not gonna ever do that okay I'm not gonna let this dry on this but that's how it's gonna sit on the table what do you think I think it's a nice little thing got some American War of Independence guys running by the building I think that's pretty good all right, guys, thanks for coming out and checking out uh, the construction of this stone chimney number two house for Sarissa, from Sarissa for my American War of Independence. All right, now I'm going to be doing multiples. I have a, I have a stack of Sarissa buildings that I'm going to be doing. So come back and check out the next one.